Oh, it smells. Whoa, I got some on my nose. <laughs> Jesus, that's crazy. Okay, this is not what I expected. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing the ColourPop mystery box, the big one. And I'm also gonna be trying on the products. So I did create a full face of, almost a full face of ColourPop using products I already owned and then using the products that came in the mystery box. I used almost everything that came in the mystery box to create this look. It's a lot of fun. And I got a lot of products that I wouldn't have bought myself, which is the fantastic part of a mystery box. I will say, I don't think you need this if you own a lot of ColourPop because you'll probably get things you already own. But if you are a new to color pop and you just want to try their formulas i think that the mystery boxes are a great value but i am really excited because i actually do have another one coming to me and that's going to be for a giveaway and it is the full size one so i just want to give one back to you guys because i thought it was a great like fun thing and hopefully you guys enjoy it i'm not going to open it obviously i will just ship it pretty much in the box that it comes in i will have all the giveaway details down below you can check out my description box but you will win the biggest size mystery box it is still coming in the mail because i did pay for expedited shipping for this current mystery box that i unboxed today they did ship separately so but yeah if you're new here i would love for you to subscribe to my channel i do a ton of these unboxings like this i do a ton of fun makeup looks like this i'm so happy with all this turned out i think it's a lot of fun and yeah let's get into this unboxing i did want to say i did get the it's called the mega mystery so i did pay 80 85 dollars or so with taxes and all that and shipping at the time i'm filming this they actually do have all of the mystery boxes available so if you are interested in them i'll have them linked down below but i do know that a lot of people poop on mystery boxes all the time because they think that it's just you know leftover products and they're it's products that they're trying to move out and while that is true 100 percent i'm sure ColourPop is trying to move out all the products that i unboxed today if you're new to ColourPop and you're wanting to try their formulas this is a great way to do so if you just want to treat yourself to some makeup that isn't something you would buy yourself then mystery boxes are for you because everything that i got in my box today is not something that i would go out and purchase myself and that's just the fun of a mystery box with that being said let's get into the unboxing right, so this is what the mystery box looks like it's so cute because it has little question marks everywhere i'm so excited to see what's in here oh i haven't watched any unboxing so let's go ahead and open this up Ooh, it's got more question marks everywhere a lot of products. Ooh, I'm just gonna pull them out as I see them. There are a couple of single eyeshadows. I'm gonna need to get a Z palette. I don't have one that's available. There's a pressed powder shadow in the shade Im Imperial Matte. It's like a reddish tone brown matte shade cool and then there's a pressed glitter oh i love these i'm a huge fan of these i know a lot of people are not they're so much fun they could be like fun pops of color on the lid or in the inner corner then okay oh wow there's a lot of stuff in here i'm so excited okay so i've got a cream shadow this is the shade bronco this is what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and open it because i do want to see what it looks like this might be a good eyeshadow base kind of like a mac painterly oh my gosh remember those days that's funny let's open it yeah that looks exactly like mac paint i haven't tried that formula so that's exciting we've got a cream gel liner in the shade sour candy i haven't tried the cream gel liners actually i mean i have tried the pencil ones but i haven't tried the pot ones this is fun guys summer is not over and this is like the perfect summer shade it's like a peachy i wonder what look i'm gonna create today with this stuff uh because i do kind of want to use that that's fun we've got a jelly much shadow in the shade saguaro Saguaro. I don't know what that means. It's like a gorgeous like orange shade. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Ooh, that looks stunning actually. It looks really foiled. Can't wait to try that out. Okay, so we have a super shock cheek in the shade Wisp, which I don't own actually. I love Flexitarian. I actually have it here. So you know what? We'll do a little swatch comparison right now. So this is Flexitarian. And this is Wisp. You can see Wisp is a little darker. It'll still work for me though, I think. It's kind of like more of a champagne, but let's do a swatch comparison. You can tell I love these. I, I love the formula of these. They're very wet, but not glittery. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. Oh yeah, they're totally different shades. This is more rose goldy. I think it'll still work on me. I'm gonna try to use it today. Ooh, I see something from Fourth Ray. I have not tried anything from Fourth Ray at all. So this is the Avocado Body Milk. The body milk delivers an instant moisture and targeted good for the body with tentacles for extra soft, happy skin. Lightweight and fast absorbing. Use a dose of milk daily to get the perks of a body lotion without feeling the greasy feeling after. Wow, that's awesome. This is such cute packaging, by the way, but I do want to open it. Oh, this is so adorable. This is so adorable. How many of you have tried fourth rate because i have not tried anything and i've been wanting to but they just come out with so much stuff that it's a little overwhelming that's the general consensus with color pop oh it does smell like avocado it smells like cucumber to be honest actually like oh my god cucumber melon 
that's what that reminds me of i could smell a little bit of avocado in there this is nice this packaging is weird oh my god it's so hard to squeeze out oh yeah it's a very lightweight it's almost like an oil my hands already feel soft though i also see from fourth ray we have this vino rejuvenating serum boost this is what it looks like this revives dull skin with a rejuvenating boost of a polyphenol packed this phytonutrient rich antioxidant found in wine grapes works to defend against free radicals leaving skin restored and soft to the touch mix and match for your skin's need apply two to three drops on palms and gently press onto the clean skin i want to try this oh it smells whoa i got some on my nose <laughs> It feels nice, actually. Okay. I actually feel kind of like a gripping sensation, too. And from the same line, we've also got the Shimmering Dry Oil. The Vino Shimmering Dry Oil from Soul Body. I have tried this, actually, but I have, like, the original. I didn't even know they had any more of these. Will this even work on me? Look at that. That's pretty. Uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna work for me. Oh my god, it smells so good. From fourth ray, we also got the papaya face milk. I've never tried them. Papaya enzymes is known for having exfoliating properties. Papaya oil moisturizes and replenishes the skin, and white tea has antioxidants. Apply two to three drops onto palm, warm between hands, and gently press onto the skin. I'm not going to use this one today, but I will keep you guys updated. This looks fun. I've been intrigued by these for a long time. I just never bought them. Then we've got one more thing from fourth ray. We've got the chamomile face milk. This is calming and moisturizing and it's also hydrating and softening. It has balancing properties. It has vitamin E which smooths and refined skin texture. I feel like this would be good for nighttime. Two face milks, cool. Excited to use these. Oh my gosh, there's an eyeshadow palette. This is the Animal Crossing Five Star Island Press Powder Palette. This is what it looks like, how cute. This is such a cute little tiny quad. Oh my God, this is. these are stunning shades. Look at how cute these are. Obviously they're trying to get rid of this. They're trying to push these products out, which is totally fine, but I have not tried ColourPop eyeshadows in a hot minute. This is the What A Hoot eyeshadow palette. Look at how cute this packaging is. Oh my gosh. Was never a fan of animal crossing i never got into it we do have a switch but we don't play animal crossing <laughs> these are pretty shades i don't know which one i'm gonna use <laughs> we do have the act natural mascara which i've never tried so i'm excited for this this is in the shade brown this could be a fun look this might be a fun look yep we've got a cream gel liner in the shade electric daisy i love the cream gel liners i actually think i own this one so i might give it away Yep, I have to look because I have, I bought a vault like a long time ago. Then we've got the liquid liners in Make Love. This is the liquid liner. I haven't tried, wait, yes I have. Have I? I feel like I, I bought like all the colors when they first launched like years ago. This is yellow. How cute. Oh, we've got the Act Natural Mascara in Black. Okay, so we got both of them. Fine. We've got two lippy pencils. Let me just open those first. Let me see if I have them. This is in the shade Field Day. Yeah, I don't own this one. Yay. This looks like it'll be a perfect shade for fall. Let's watch this one. Oh, what pretty is that? Yep, a nice warm tone brown for fall. And then we've got the shade Ashton, which actually I don't think came in my vault either. I'll have to look though. I don't want to swatch it just in case yeah this one might be in the vault it's a really nice cool tone brown so kind of the opposite next we have the lippy sticks which by the way are the best formula lip products ColourPop has <laughs> i love them this is the matte x one i prefer the well my favorite shade of all time and i actually took it out just in case they didn't send over any it is aquarius and it's a cream formula they don't sell this one anymore though <laughs> i wish they would bring it back it's it was the collab with caffeine lights that's why <gasps> Ooh, this is gorgeous this is in the shade trust me i don't have this one i'm gonna swatch it beautiful red shade i'm obsessed this will be fun i don't know if i'm gonna use it today but ooh, fun we have another lippy sticks my bad this is poison the perfect fall shade it's like a plummy burgundy. I'm obsessed. This is in the matte formula, so not the matte X. I'm not sure what the difference is, to be honest. Okay, then we have the ultra glossy lip. Ooh, I haven't had the ultra glossy lips in a long time. I don't even remember the formula, to be quite honest. This is the shade Irreplaceable. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. Let's go ahead and do a little swatchy swatch. Oh, I do remember the applicator not being my favorite. It's very stiff right now. I think I have to break it in. There you go. It's like a really nice topper kind of gloss. Love glosses like this. It has a little bit of shimmer and glitter particles. Ooh. And then we have the Ultra Blotted Lip. This is the shade Doozy. I don't think I've ever tried this formula, actually. Now that I think about it. Ooh, look at this shade, though. That is gorgeous. I'm not sure if these are matte or what. They're not. They're supposed to give you like a subtle pop of color, like maybe in the center of your lips or something. Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my eyelids. And I decided I'm going to go in with this 
what a hoot palette this is so cute what a cute little quad i will say i don't i'm not a huge fan of this formula which is the matte with like little glitter particles everywhere but i have heard that if you just tap off your brush you can kind of get it to work without the glitter but we'll see that's wow these are swatching so nicely again it's been a hot minute since i've tried ColourPop eyeshadows that is a stunning shade I'm a huge fan of their metallics usually, and I do love the pressed glitters. I know not, not a lot of people do, but oh, I think they're so stunning. Look at that. I just love how fun this is. This is like a super cute travel friendly. Like it has a little mirror and everything. It's super cute. I love it. The first shade I'm going to go in with is Celestial, which is the formula I'm not a huge fan of, but whatever. I'm going to take a refer 01 brush for this. It's got a lot of kickback tap out the excess i'm gonna take this all over the crease it's gonna be my transition shade hopefully you don't really see the glitter particles because i really just don't like that i don't even think it's showing up at all try that again take two this isn't bad i'm gonna build this up a little bit more though because i kind of want it to be a little bit more smoky i think in all honesty that does work i don't see very many glitter particles maybe like a few every now and then if i turn my head so i think that does work okay now i'm gonna go in with the shade who which is the brown obviously there's a lot of fallout with this one too not as much as the first wow just kidding jesus that's crazy <laughs> i'm just gonna concentrate this on the outer corner first and then blend it toward the crease i do wish there was like a mid-tone brown in this little quad it's kind of hard to like get every single shade imaginable for a quad i'm gonna take a completely clean brush and just kind of blend out the dark brown into the transition shade i'm gonna have to take a little bit more of the transition shade and hope these two blend together nicely guys these shadows are blending out so nicely i'm quite impressed with this cute little palette so far so what i'm gonna do is actually go into this what is it called jelly much eyeshadow and cut my crease with it i just hope it's gonna be a good way to cut my crease i find this a little messy though so i could see why some people may not like this i'm just gonna take this is a mac something brush it faded i have no idea but this is like one of my favorite brushes to take okay this is very okay this is not what i expected this is not i never even swatch this i don't know what i'm doing this is not jelly this is not like liquidy enough how pretty is that oh my god it's not liquidy enough to take with a brush though so i might have to reevaluate. oh my gosh it's coming out in chunks let me just use my finger for now i guess there no <laughs> all right what is happening i can do this this is a lot more difficult to use than i realized it's getting like everywhere it's a gorgeous shade though i just wish i knew how to apply it the best way and it's getting chunky in some places and it feels weird and then it's getting all up in my crease i'm not sure how i feel about this guys this is the weirdest consistency of life because once you place it it dries down I just don't like how messy it gets it gets everywhere i want to take this shade on the outer part of my lid just to use every shade in this palette and it's a like nice little bronze shade okay so i did want to go ahead and try the bff liquid liner and i did swatch it right here it is quite like a muted yellow but it's actually a lot more pigmented than i thought it would be i don't know how it's gonna go very well over the jelly mud shadow so i did wipe off as much as i could i'm gonna start on this end and i'm gonna do like a wing look at how pigmented that is that is wow so i am gonna create a wing because Guys, that's so pigmented. This is a little liquidy, like it's actually very wet. So you gotta be careful, but it's very easy to use. I wanna get these in more shades. This is so fun, guys. I did just go ahead and prime my face with my NYX Marshmallow Primer. I don't really love the ColourPop primers, so I don't have them anymore. I do love the Pretty Fresh foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time. It gives a really great coverage, but it also looks really nice and dewy and luminous on the skin. I have the shade 60N, so that's what I'm using. And it just looks so flawless on my skin. Truly one of the best. I also love the Pretty Fresh concealer. I use two different shades, 05W and Light N. I use the darker shade obviously on the outer end and then i like to brighten up the center so that's what i do honestly i think i just got the wrong shade the first time <laughs> so this is just how i'm using it up oh by the way i've repurchased that foundation this might be my third bottle since it released last year so i love it so much this concealer is great it's like a nice medium coverage it gives a nice natural finish i actually don't really love the color pop powders either i'm just gonna take my pat mcgrath loose setting powder under the eyes i need to set my under eyes just like always so and this is the most flawless one ever and the lower lash line i'm gonna grab the dark brown obviously and i'm gonna put that really close to my lash line 
And then I'm gonna take this shade to blend it out. I feel like this shade got a little lost. I'm gonna take some on the rest of the lower lash line. And you know in the inner corner, I'm gonna take the pressed glitter. I just love these for inner corner. I did just wanna point out that this shade is not intended for use in the immediate eye area so you do have to use this with your own discretion be careful with it obviously don't put it in your eyeball and just be very careful and you should be fine i have no issues using these pressed glitters i think they're gorgeous they don't have much of a color base to them most of the time i mean sometimes they do they just have a beautiful glitter shift and that's why i love them for the inner corner so the only bronzer i own is this bronzer oh it doesn't have the name this is like the i don't even know if they sell this anymore to be quite honest it doesn't have a name so i can't even tell you the name of it why do I want to say lunch money or something like that? I don't remember. But anyway, it has a little bit of shimmer, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's also a little dark for me right now. But we're going to make it work because this is the only ColourPop bronzer I have. Oh my god. Yeah, but at least it blends out quite nicely. I haven't used this in quite a while. I'm not sure that they've come out with any other. They might have come out with the cheek quads, but I think those might be blushes. I don't know if there are bronzers in there too. And for blush, my favorite blush that ColourPop has ever released is actually not available anymore, sadly. This is I Need Space. It's their collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I don't know what's going on there. I I also don't have this in a Z palette, but I just kept it in the packaging it came with. I don't know. It's a gorgeous like, satin finish, and it's a great neutral everyday blush, so... I do use it quite often and I love it. For the highlighter, I'm going to use obviously Wisp, which I've never used. A lot of people are not huge fans of the Super Shock highlighters, but I love them, especially using this brush. This is a Moda brush and honestly, I wish I knew the name of it, but it's not on here. But this picks up the Super Shock highlighters so well and it blends them seamlessly. So let's see how this one looks. Ooh. Yeah, I like this one maybe even a little bit more than Flexitarian because Flexitarian just sometimes is a little too stark on my skin even and I'm I'm pale like you know you see me. But what I love about these Super Shocks is you would think that they would emphasize your texture but they don't. They look super stunning on the skin and they just give you like a wet look which I love in a highlighter. I don't like them to emphasize my texture. I don't like it to be too bam in your face and Flexitarian definitely is that sometimes. So this might be my new favorite ColourPop highlighter. How exciting. Okay, and for mascara we're gonna try out the act natural defining mascara but i'm gonna use the brown because i think it'll go really nicely actually this is the wand Let's see i'm really picky about my mascara so i hope i like this this is definitely a wet mascara it does a really good job at separating like the spoolie is perfect for separating do you guys see this brown because honestly it looks like black to me i don't really see a difference i actually really like this though it is a little more wet than i would like i like more dry formula mascaras but i'm gonna do a couple coats let me do the lower lash line first second coat yeah at least it doesn't get clumpy oh my gosh it definitely volumizes and separates doesn't lengthen all that much like i have better lengthening mascaras but this is a nice mascara especially for the price point i like it i think i'm gonna take field day the lippy pencil i got in the mystery box let's see Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I love these lippy pencils because they are so creamy, but they last a long time despite that. This is gonna be the perfect fall shade, wow. And then I'm gonna take the gloss, which is in the shade, I forget, irreplaceable. It smells good. It smells like, like vanilla. <laughs> yeah, the formula is nice. I hate this applicator. It is not, not it, not it. ColourPop, no, change this. Wow, I am digging everything that I tried today. This is the final look. I'm not gonna put on lashes or anything because I i'm rocking the mascara look okay so the eyeshadow palette is really cute i think this is really travel friendly i think the formula in here is great you can get rid of those little specks those little um glitter particles from the matte shade with the glitter i hate that i just i don't think they should do that anymore like you really it's unnecessary right dude my lips smell it smells like it smells like caramel oh my god it smells so good if you're sensitive to smell though you may not like that mm. And then the mattes, they blend, this matte blends beautifully. This is a gorgeous shimmer shade. I love the glitter, but if you don't like the glitter, I totally get it. This might be like a waste for you. I cannot wait to try the other one because it's such a cute color story as well. I think my favorite thing out of everything, this is completely random, I know, has to be the highlighter. I think it looks really stunning. Just a really nice wet look. The Jelly Much Shadow, I dropped it, whatever. You know which one it is. It's interesting because I like it and I like the way it looks, but applying it is a pain in the booty. And if you don't like having trouble applying your makeup you will hate that i'm really impressed with the bff liquid liner i think it is gorgeous i think it added a lot to this look it's super random but i like it i love using colored liners so oh, the mascara is really nice i think it does a great job of separating and volumizing your lashes but anyway that's all that i got in my mystery box i do think that the value of the mystery box was totally worth it i think what i got 
pretty much twice what I paid. I'm really happy with everything that I got. I think that mystery boxes are just so much fun because you don't know what's in them and they're usually things you wouldn't buy yourself. Would I have bought this eyeshadow palette? Absolutely not. I was not interested in Animal Crossing, but now that it's in my collection, I think I'm going to use it a lot. Mystery boxes are just so much fun if you don't own a lot from the brand. That completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is calming moisture booster. This is calming and moisturizer. This is calming and moisturizing. Can you please open? There's nothing else in here. I'm sorry for all the noise right now. And then I'm gonna take this shade to. Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna take. So that's just the mystery. That's just the fun of the. That's just.